The Barefoot Bandit is Barefoot No More. Colton Harris Moore, the teenager dubbed the Barefoot Bandit, appeared in court in the Bahamas Tuesday, pleading guilty to a minor offense and could soon be deported back to the United States. The charge for the 19-year-old Harris Moore, illegal entry into the country. His guilty plea will result in a $300 fine and deportation. His attorney said the U.S. government will pay the fine. He, he wanted to go home, so that's the fastest way of getting home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if he pleaded not guilty, then we would, um, he would be facing a trial, and who knows when it would have started. Earlier, authorities in the Bahamas said Harris Moore would face a variety of charges, including illegal weapons possession. But it is unclear why these charges were not pursued. Juan McCartney was in the courtroom to hear the guilty plea. He's got a deep voice, you know, spoke clearly to the judge, tall guy, and looked him right in the eye, said guilty. You know, um, after everyone cleared out, he was talking to, you know, immigration and police officials. They were all smiling, chuckling, you know, so he got a slap on the wrist, basically. So I don't think he's too worried about it. I think he's got some more problems waiting for him in the States, though. Back in the United States, the teen is suspected in about 70 property crimes in eight states and Canada. Harris Moore is accused of getting to the Bahamas by stealing a plane in Indiana. Now prosecutors in the U.S. are preparing a case against the team, who could potentially face years behind bars. Harris Moore told authorities that he came here to the Bahamas because of the country's many islands, airports, and docks. He also told authorities his ultimate goal was to get to the islands of Turks and Caicos because he read online that the islands have a small police force and no marine defense. David Martin, The Associated Press, Nassau.